automatically asking for a collaboration while asking can we be friends like that's not genuine you know hey y'all welcome back to my channel today's video as you can see from the title it is going to be a chit chat get ready with me um i'm not going anywhere but we still about to get ready <laughs> So yeah, I do have a wig that I do want to show you guys today. It is from Love Me Here. Thank you so much, Love Me, for sponsoring this video. They did send me over not one but two wigs, baby. Um, I'm only gonna be I'm only going to be reviewing one wig in this video, and then hopefully the questions don't roll over. But if the questions do roll over, I will answer the rest of the questions in the next video. But we are going to be reviewing this one first. All the deets about the hair will be down in the description box below and or on the screen. So yeah. Gonna be reviewing this one first and then we're gonna save this one for the next one this one already came pre curled as you can see this is their five by five lace closure um can't remember what length they sent me so like i said that'll be on the screen and down in the description box below but i did ask you guys so it came with a weed cap and then some goodies i did ask you guys to ask me questions on youtube and i posted a like a not a poll but i posted a posted a post on instagram and a few of you guys asked me some questions on there so i'm gonna dive into answering them but before i do i did want to say this one does come with a removable elastic band um these are the ones that don't slip out too easily some of the other ones that like clip on i don't like the ones that clip because they slip out these give you a little bit more resistant so i do like these and i do like that they are removable you get two combs in the front comb in the middle comb in the back and then you have these in the back to also adjust i am going to go ahead and cut out the comb that is in the middle just because i feel like it kind of makes it a little bit more bulky if you will so i do like to go ahead and just cut it out try not to you know cut the wig honey but just get in there and then once you get one out it kind of just slips out just like that there we go so now the comments out in the middle and we got something to work with i did go ahead and spray a lace tint on this wig i didn't want to bleach the knots because this wig already came curled and i didn't want to have to wet the hair and mess up this beautiful curl pattern and obviously taking a wig right out the box already curled you can't beat that so i decided to just go ahead and leave it like this i did spray lace tint the knots i could still see a little bit of black but i am going to go ahead and put some I'm going to do contour on the lace and then I'm going to put some on my wig cap, which I already have some. This is just the Anastasia's. So getting into the questions. The first one says, how's your nursing journey? How is your nursing journey going so far? And do you plan on getting your art in? Um, I've said this, I think in my last, um, questions video but i got my associate's degree then after getting that i went to nursing school like a um accelerated program one to get my lp in and then i was obviously going to do rn but i withdrew for personal reasons and i did go back actually in 2020 but COVID had broke out and i'm not that type of person who likes online classes and i cannot learn from online anything so having nursing online just wasn't it for me so it definitely <laughs> was not about to ride out like we literally only went to class to take an exam on a computer at that i cannot take exams on computers i like pen and paper pencil and paper so i withdrew also and i just never went back <laughs> Um, so yeah, someone else had asked, oh yeah, so staying on the nursing topic, someone asked, how did you become a nurse? Like, what was the steps you took after college? Like I said, I am not a nurse. I've said this a few times. I am a 
PCT, which stands for Patient Care Tech or Technician. Um, I am there with the patient, basically like a CNA, I'm there with the patient at bedside, literally in their rooms um, more than anything, helping out the nurse, doing what I can. Different states and different places, the techs and or CNAs can do different things. So basically my task is like, vital signs i do um like cleaning the patient help with baths we do we can do bladder scans we can do um what else we can, we can do a few things and like i said depending on your state like i know i saw um i'm in this like cna group chat or whatever and like they could do like ekgs different things like that um we go to lab we pick up blood for the nurse we take labs down to the um lab like we do all that type of stuff so yeah i'm a tech not a nurse i decided to not continue my nursing journey because i have my own business now um i am going to be selling robin and me's hair so that's that i did decide to just work for myself um obviously i am a content creator i like creating content youtube this is just my element like i don't really see myself honestly working for anyone if I am being completely honest at this point, like especially because I know how far in this day and age social media can take you and being your own boss can take you and just all of that jazz. So honestly, um, if I did want to continue, obviously I wouldn't have that much left to do because I have, you know, all of my prereqs, all of that. I've been to nursing school, so it's not really that much left for me to do. But it's just like I love helping people. It's just me working at the hospital and with those nurses literally shows me that I do not want to be a nurse, especially not a hospital nurse. Like I always said that I would have worked in a clinic if I did um, become a nurse. Like I always wanted to work in a clinic because I like to have that personal. I'm just going to try the wig on to see how it fits. I like to have that personal one-on-one um, -on -one with patients and okay, hold up, honey. It's a little tight. I'm gonna loosen these bands up. I like to have relationships with patients. Like some of the patients that be there for a long time, it's easier because you know them, you know what they need. Like, you know, you just know your patients. So I like to build relationships with people and I'm not really good with change. So I hate, <laughs> well, I don't hate getting new patients obviously, but it's just like, it's just, I'm like a routine girl. Like I'm not really, a big change girl so when i have to constantly get new patients in like that's why i hate going to the er like as a tech we can get sent anywhere in the hospital so literally i hate going to the er for that specific reason i need to see if i need to pluck anything um i do need to hot comb this back though honey so yeah the wig fits pretty good um, I need to hot comb this back. I think I may use the front clips. Yeah, I'm gonna use the front clips just because, like I said, this is a five by five closure, so it's not a frontal for it to be a little bit more secure. That's Prince barking. Okay, so yeah, I'm about to hot comb this and then we'll be back. Okay, so I have to move to the bathroom so I can hot comb my hair. But um, yeah, I think that's all the questions about like school that I got from YouTube. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um, I just don't see myself working for anybody. Um, I do love healthcare, but I just want to be my own boss. And I mean, I love hair, so why not sell my own? So yeah. The next question that I have on here is, um, are you in a long distance relationship? And if so, how is it going? Um, yes and no. <laughs> uh, my boyfriend lives an hour away, um, depending on where I live, like I keep moving around the city. So at one point in time, he was like, uh, about like 35, 40 minutes away. And then it's like, I kind of moved further out to where all the big houses and the mountains and stuff are at. So now it takes me about 50 minutes to an hour, probably like 50 minutes cause you know, I'll be driving, but <laughs> it takes me about 50 minutes. So yes, it's long distance, but then it's kind of not like it doesn't take 
that long to get to him. I usually rotate out one week would be my week. And the next week would be his. And it kind of just depends on what we got going on. Like if we want to do like date nights and stuff, then he will come up here more than I go down there to see him because everything is in the city that I live in. Like <laughs> there's really not much where he lives. So he usually always comes up here a lot. And yeah, I mean, it's going good. Like I said, it's long distance, but it don't really seem like long distance because I mean, it's just a little car ride away. You know, a little, little 45 minutes up the road. It ain't nothing too bad. <laughs> and then staying on the subject of relationships, someone asked, do you feel happy with your relationship? And is medical school hard like everyone says it is? If so, what makes it hard? Obviously, yes, I'm happy in my relationship. At this point, I would not be in no relationship that does not make me happy. I am not the type of girl to get into multiple relationships multiple times a year, multiple times a month, multiple times a week. <laughs> with just anybody like there's people that you know we all know the people that we went to school with or whatever that has been in relationships or have a new man every month <laughs> and that's that's not me so i don't get into relationship unless i feel like there's um what am i trying to say i don't get into relationship unless i want to marry you or see the potential of marriage with you i should say um i do date to marry i am one of the few that still cares about marriage and would like to get married that is going along the thing with kids i know somebody had asked about kids obviously i don't want any kids until i'm married a lady y'all are suspecting that i'm pregnant i'm not baby <laughs> unless god has other plans and want me to have a kid before i'm married but no i want to be married before i bring a child in this world so yeah that answers that so yeah i'm very happy in my relationship my boyfriend makes me extremely happy so thanks babe for making your girl happy okay in every aspect so we just i don't know we just get each other like it's just it's just all love baby okay i feel like i need to pluck but i don't really know so the next questions that i have is on YouTube is pertaining to moving out so what are some tips you would give someone moving out on their own for the first time and then the other question kind of is the same moving out on your own what to expect when applying for an apartment how to budget monthly bills and treating yourself and overall how to get your grind on as a young adult so I am 24 years old I did move into my very first apartment at like by myself um, in 2020, I put the videos here. It's kind of where a lot of y'all are from. Um, I did already kind of make a video talking about this, moving out on your own, tips and tricks between 18 and 21. But just touching base on it again, if you may not have seen that or a little bit different information. I really don't remember what the heck I said in that one. <laughs> but um, tips on giving someone to move out on their own. Um, save. Have a plan. Stick with the plan and know exactly what you want. So I'm just going to pertain to my last apartment, this one that I'm in. Um, I knew I wanted to leave my apartment. This one is higher than all of my apartments I've been in, obviously. So I made a plan, like a budget plan of my own. I have, I just get templates from like Pinterest or I'll get templates from... Um, like Etsy or something and I just usually go from there I do recommend getting as much as you can every couple like weeks or months depending on how fast you're trying to move out like for me my first apartment I had a three months go so that whole three months I was buying I don't even have my trash can in here I was buying apartment stuff every like every time I got paid I worked at big lots so I do recommend working somewhere like a furniture place retail whatever to where you can take advantage of like your employee discount and markdowns because I worked at big lots I had a 20% off discount okay so I recommend you working at a retail store because like I said I worked at big lots I got um 20% off everything in the store and 30% off on furniture 
So places like At Home, Bed Bath & Beyond, even like a whole furniture store, take advantage of those places. Even if you do need to like work part-time, hell, even if you're a temporary employee, you still have that employee discount. So take advantage of that type of stuff. Um, that definitely helped me when moving out. It allowed me to, every time I got paid, I would like, you know, put stuff back in the back of the store. And you know, sometimes if I'm waiting on payday, it'll like get marked down. So I'm spending less money. Ultimately, you are spending a lot of money, but you're just not spending a lot of money at once. It kind of makes you feel a little bit better. So like I said, you need to really, I would say save up for about two months of like rent and utilities. For instance, here, all my utilities are included. I just pay rent. So, at the place that I'm talking about that I first moved into, everything wasn't included. So it was like, I was kind of just playing it by ear, trying to listen to, you know, what my parents, what they pay for their, um, you know, utilities and stuff. So just save up a good amount of money, honestly. Like there's no amount that I can just tell you. And plus I had the stimulus check when I had first moved out into my very first apartment alone. So, you know, that STEMI came in handy. And then I used to get paid every week at Big Lots. So that also came in handy. So all of that you just need to take into consideration. Um, but definitely map out a plan. It's hard for me to tell you advice because it's like everyone's rent is a different price. Everyone utilities, everything is different all around the world. Um, just have enough for at least like two months just in case because you have to do um, application fees, you have to do down payments, you have to do, if you're like breaking your lease somewhere, you gotta pay the rest of the money for your apartment, you gotta pay to break your lease. Um, what else did she ask me? What to expect when applying for an apartment? With me, I've been approved everywhere that I applied to, thank you, Lord. <laughs> but I don't know, for me, it's not really too much because like I said, I just, I do have YouTube as an advantage also, but I just show proof of income. Some At one point in time, I was working in Big Lots and the hospital, but I show YouTube statements. I show, you know, your proof of income. One tip I will give y'all though, <laughs> um, I feel like it's what kind of got me into this place because um the rent was a little high but i picked up so a tip is they're gonna ask for like your last three check stubs so i would pick up so my checks the last three checks will be consistent so each check will show me working overtime and it's like it's kind of being consistent like oh, okay like this must be like her regular which people do on a regular work overtime like there's this man at the hospital he literally works five to six days a week that's just what he do all his checks are the same so i do initially pick up when i know i do i am looking to apply i'll kind of set a date that i want to apply so like my last if, even if it's my last two checks my last two checks will be big like big because at this point they want you to make three times the rent baby stuff is high rent is high groceries is high car note is high everything is high so i wanted to show them that like basically telling them like this is my check but this is definitely what i could be making so i don't want y'all to deny me thinking that i can't make three times the rent like come on now so with my hospital job that is like my main job so YouTube is just like added income, like on the application, it'll say like additional income. So I, I definitely had it with just YouTube. It's just like, I wanted to be like a little bit extra because you know, sometimes apartments is tricky. Like apartments that's over like $1,200, $1,000, like they be, they be really trying it. And they'll be wanting to have you have like a cosigner and stuff. Like I know a friend that was making well enough money, but still had to have a cosigner because her rent wasn't technically three times the rent. So I do pick up, or well, I did pick up <laughs> on those um, last three check stubs. And yeah, I got approved to make three times the rent. So that's my little trick, definitely pick up how to budget monthly um i think i already kind of answered that i print out budget list and i just calculate all my bills like i do recommend if you can split your bills in half like if you are able to 
split your rent each check if you get paid weekly or bi-weekly if you get paid bi-weekly split it in two if you get paid weekly you could just divide it by four or whatever you want to do um splitting up your bills definitely is a little bit easier i know some people like the cash stuffing method a lot of people like different things so kind of just whatever works for you i recommend trying out splitting your paychecks in half and seeing how well that helps you out as far as doing what you want to do for your personal pleasure um like i said i have youtube i have passive income basically so it's a little bit easier for me to speak on rather than the average person because i have a check from back check from youtube and then i also have a sponsorships Kind of like the one that I'm doing now, this hair review. I'm getting paid for this YouTube video on YouTube, but I'm also getting paid from the hair company. And I also sometimes sell the wigs that the hair company gives me. So that's already for this one wig, I'm getting paid three different ways from one item. So it's not really hard for me to speak on, but it is kind of hard for me to speak on because some people don't have side hustles. Side hustles. They literally just have one you know income and don't get me wrong i've always i have one income before um but i didn't have as many bills as i do now so i would just recommend you just making time for yourself like if you have to pick up an extra day or like an extra shift few extra shifts do that to kind of get ahead of your bills do that um because it's too much life out here to live for y'all to just be living like you know paycheck to paycheck and that's also why i decided to jump into being my own boss because baby that life is dead for me so i recommend putting aside money even if it's like five to ten dollars out your check and then kind of letting that letting that build up or like i said pick up some extra shifts like for instance me i'm only required to work three days out the week at the hospital three 12 hour shifts and then the rest of the days are free so if i want to pick up like if i got some stuff coming up like for instance i'm doing a brand photo shoot at the end of the month so i am picking up just to have a lot of extra money and to pay for all kind of things that i want if you need to pick up pick up like there's no wrong doing in that um everybody is just trying to make ends meet whatever the case may be so if you have to like you know not go out with your friends this weekend or not do this not attend that then do that like and pick up those extra shifts and then that'll give you a little bit of leeway and a little bit more financial stability so let's say like your credit card you pick up and you're able to pay your credit card your credit card off or you're able to pay you know an extra 50 to 100 dollars or 200 dollars on your credit card to get that down so now you don't have to make next month payment and what i mean by that is obviously if you pay it off then you're good but you can like put the money aside and then you already have that money planned for that bill so you don't even got to worry about that so it's like the money that you're making you can also be saving if that makes sense <laughs> like it's making sense in my head but now that i'm playing that back with what i just said i'm like mm, y'all may not get that so next question is i'm gonna go to instagram now someone said what's something you wish you could have told your younger self um i'm only 24 but looking back if i was to tell my younger self something i would probably tell like probably like 16 year old me 15 16 year old me or even like 18 year old me like don't stress it and also i would have told me to go for it and what i mean by go for it is i'm a very shy person and i don't have I don't have any regrets it's just some stuff that i wish i don't have a regret it's just that like i wish i wasn't so shy in a sense like for instance everything like i made the um like you know a uh, dance team volleyball all of that in like middle school and high school whatever i went for the tryouts but i quit because i was so shy 
and it's like I would just tell myself not to quit like I did do band I played the flute fun fact but everything else I would just tell my younger self go for it and keep it up because that definitely is something that I'm doing right now and that I'm practicing like for my business like this isn't something I did I was gonna give up. I wasn't, I wouldn't really say give up. It was just kind of gonna be put on the back burner because I did kind of start this business in 2020 um, with lashes instead of hair. It was just gonna be lashes, but it's like, don't give up. This is what I like. This is what I love. And this is something that I can definitely see myself doing for the rest of my life and something that I do wanna do for the rest of my life. So just stick with it. Everything isn't gonna be easy. That's understandable. And some things will make you uncomfortable, but just stick with it. So that's what I would tell my younger self. Another question is, when would be the ideal time for you to purchase a home? Um, I think I already spoke on this in another video of me answering questions, but the ideal time is when I'm married. <laughs> Um, I'm not the type of person who wants to live in a house alone. Like, obviously, if I didn't have a man, like, I would eventually get a house. But I don't want to move into a house until I'm married, mostly because I am scary. And it's just, it's just having the comfort of having your man at home in your house, being able to be that protector for you and that extra kind of security there with you and for you. And plus, when I get a house... I don't want a little small house. Like, I'm gonna get a house house. Like, not just a big ass house, but like I definitely want at least like four, minimum four bedrooms, just because I would need obviously master bedroom. I'm gonna need a YouTube studio. Um, I don't plan on running my business from home for long. I do plan on having an actual, you know, store, shop, whatever. But in the time being, like, let's say right now, if I was to get a house, I would need in room for like my business stuff. Or if the YouTube room is big enough, it can be for the business and YouTube. And then I do plan on having kids, so the kids need a room. And then, you know, it's I would need multiple rooms. And it's like, I don't wanna be in a house with all that space by myself, you know? So I just like, I just wanna be in the house with my man. <laughs> that's just that so I don't plan on getting a house like right now at this moment until I'm married and then you know me and my husband we get a house together and we move together so yeah the next question is from the same girl on Instagram um what's a career goal you have I think I've kind of already spoke about that um it's just to be successful in my business that I do plan on launching next year um Full alert or a little sneak peek if you are watching this. I do, I did always plan on launching in February. So if everything goes well, then I do plan to launch next year, which will be 2023 in February. And I just, I just want growth. I see myself growing a lot more. I see myself being very, very successful. And yeah, my career growth, my career goal is just to continue growing in every aspect of my career, which is obviously YouTube and then now the business. So yeah. And I don't really wanna speak, I do have more career goals obviously, it's just I'm not the person to like, just like to speak on all my goals out in the open because obviously like a lot of people say, you never know who preying on your downfall and who is wishing bad on you and stuff like that. So I don't really wanna say all my goals, but definitely just continue growth and continue blessings upon me. So how many kids would you like to have? Me and my best friend was just talking about this last night. I did say I wanted three kids, but now it's looking more so like two. Um, I don't want just one child because I don't want a kid to be an only child. Like I feel like a kid need a sibling, you know? So I would like to have two kids, preferably a boy and a girl. But if I don't get boy and a girl, it's all good in the hood. Um, I used to always want a girl growing up, but now it's funny because I want boys. Like, obviously I don't want all boys. I would like to have a girl, but if I do have boys, it's not gonna be like, you know, so 
I was I don't even want to say heartbreaking, but you know how everybody like most people are like, oh you know I want a girl so bad, I want a boy so bad. Obviously I want my baby, my baby just to be healthy, but you know we would like to have I would like to have a boy and a girl. But if I have boys, it's good because I've grown to love having like boys. I used to work at the preschool on campus at Arkansas State University. And at the preschool, I worked with the six week old babies to I think like 18 months. And my class was like full of boys. So that's kind of what, you know, made me want to have all boys. Not all boys, but you know, grow to like boys. Next question is navigating friendships slash slash making new friends while managing adulthood adulthood and careers can i talk today baby um i would say um okay i'm trying to, see how to answer this because i don't really have a lot of friends and that's because a lot of people are fake these days and you can never really just like trust people so navigating meeting what did they say making new friends i kind of made friends through work um it's just easy because like you know those are your co-workers so i do have a friend that's actually my neighbor and my co-worker and everything like that so it was kind of easy um uh, becoming friends that way through work because you know you see these people almost every day so and if they're cool people genuine people not messy not fake it is a lot easier to make people you become your friend through work. And my camera is overheating right now and I really don't know why. So if I shut up, I'm gonna have to continue this later. But yeah, um, I don't know, I'm a shy person. So like, I'm not the type of person who will kind of start talking to people first. Like, I don't, like if I'm in a room, I'm not gonna speak to you first. And it's not <laughs> on no like shady, messy, I think I'm better than you type stuff. It's just, I'm genuinely shy. Like I cannot, I'm an introvert. I am not the type of person to speak to someone first or make conversation first. It's just not me. It's not in me. It makes me uncomfortable. It gives me anxiety sometimes. So yeah, I just, I just can't do it. And that also makes it harder for me to kind of make friends because it's like people do automatically think that I'm mean or a bitch or whatever the case may be. And I'm not, I'm literally just so freaking shy. Like I can't speak to you. Like, <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'm just really, really shy. Like I don't got it in me to spark up a conversation first, but it's like, I really wish that I do have more friends because I'd be seeing those posts, you know, like, um, TikTok, Instagram, like all the girlies get together for like holidays or go on trips and stuff. Maybe I could never do that. Um, I have one best friend and then I have like two to three other friends or like coworker friends also. So that's why it's like, I'm not really wanting to make friends. And especially now with um, like YouTube and stuff like that, like a lot of people, like they'll DM me like, do you do collaborations? Like, can we collab? Like, can we be friends? And I'm like, you automatically ask for a collaboration while asking can we be friends like that's not genuine you know like i just like stuff to happen and stuff like that i just don't really care for so and i mean i'm not one to collab because like what are we collabing on like i don't do pranks i don't do um like what people do collabs on i don't i don't freaking know so it's like i don't really have anything collab to collab with you but unless we're doing like a wig review together like i don't know um so yeah and as managing managing friendships as an adult is definitely hard um but like i said i don't have many friends so it's not too hard especially now because my best friend is in the military so she's not really here with me um we talk sometimes we talk every day even if it's like one or two things a day at this point but um I recommend at least doing something like monthly with your friends. Like if you got a group of friends, y'all try to go out for like a girls night, do something each month, at least once a month. Or if not, like if you have a little bit more flexibility with you and your friends, then y'all could do something, you know, every week, go out for coffee. Y'all can have like, if you work in the same area, you can go out for coffee in the morning, you know, leave out about like extra 30 minutes to an hour early to make that time to go drink coffee. Um, 
if you are two people that create content you can you know edit together like me and my friend my my best friend nikki like we literally just come over she'll come over and we'll like just nap together like we'll sleep we'll just be in each other's space you know like we're just there um we'll facetime you know a call even if the call is like two to three minutes like you're still there checking in talking to your friend so i feel like it's hard but it's not that hard because you know you could just send a text you could do a call you can kind of find ways to whatever y'all are doing in your everyday life to kind of match with theirs um if you have kids like if you got to drop your kid off and like practice and then you got to pass your friend's house or their area their town you know hit them up you know and kind of like hang out while your kid is at practice or something so instead of you just going home you can just take that hour 30 minutes to hang out with your friends so i feel like there's always a way to figure out how to hang out with your friends it's just if y'all both are willing to put the work in because sometimes there are all those friends that will give you excuses and don't really want to put the work in but if y'all are really true friends then you know y'all find a way to make it work by any means um how do you view your year in 2023 i view my year in 2023 of being i'm going to keep it short and sweet because like i said i don't really like to tell a lot but i view my 2023 as being a very very blessed year i would like to say um i'm already feeling really blessed but i do feel like 2023 2023 is going to be a very very blessed year for me um i'm going to continue to really figure out who i am and the things that i like to do and i feel like i'm going 2023 is going to be a year of learning also um i don't want to dive too much into that but i definitely feel like i'm going to be learning a lot um so yeah, I just, I just also pray that 2023 is full of blessings and abundantly, well, I'm going to keep this myself, but yes, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. I just feel like 2023 will be a huge blessing for me. So, and the last question, um, asked to do a video on my favorite meal. Um, I'll probably do a video, but y'all see me cooking all the time. Um, my favorite meal is macaroni, um, potatoes, either mashed, baked potato, roasted potatoes, anything like that. And for my meat of choice, y'all know I'm going to have to go with a steak. Like, steak is my favorite food. Um, roast is also another one of my favorite meals, but it is a little bit of tedious process to be cooking that long. So I'm going to keep it as macaroni any type of potatoes and steak i don't like veggies but if i would have to choose a vegetable it would be greens or spinach and yeah that's my favorite meal that's really all i think those are all the questions um oh someone asked am i moving to texas i would like to move to texas i do plan on moving to texas how soon am i moving to texas i don't know girly but i definitely would like to move to texas me and my boyfriend have been talking about um different places we would like to stay and texas is definitely one of them but there are like two to three more different places on our list um some are close to arkansas and some, like one or two, were literally like across the freaking United States, like 16 dang hours away. But yeah, I definitely do plan on moving. I would love to move to Texas, but I never know what the future holds. So we'll see where I end up moving to. Um, I don't plan on moving anytime soon. Like right now, like I said, I just moved here. I haven't even been here for a year. So I look, I would like to live here for at least like a year or two. Um, and then, you know, figure out everything from there. Someone else asked, has it been hard to maintain your weight after gaining it? If so, how? It has not been hard this time, this go around, which I am very blessed and I thank the Lord for because maybe it's been a long time coming, but this go around has not been hard simply because I feel like I'm happy. <laughs> like in my video, I told y'all y'all mental state is literally the number one priority. And if your mental is not straight, 
then baby, you are not going to be straight. Like, I'm gonna finger comb some of these out to make it a little bit more flowy. But if your mental ain't right, then baby, you not right. But this go around, it's been pretty easy because I'm happy. Um, I've been eating to kind of maintain. I have gained more weight. I actually weighed in at 147 pounds. Um, so yeah, and I am a person who likes to cook almost every day. I like home cooked meals, don't get me wrong. I do go to McDonald's a lot for McDonald's breakfast. But other than that, I do cook at home for the most part, but it's been really easy just because I've been doing my part. Like if you continue to do, look at these curls though, girl. If you continue to do your part in either drinking your boost, drinking your protein smoothies, going to the gym, making sure you're eating enough calories to either maintain or to gain and keeping your mental on point. I promise you, you're just gonna gain the weight and just keep gaining it and keep maintaining it. Um, I don't really know what my goal weight is. It's kind of me now, just more so gonna try to stay committed to the gym and like getting my physique in order. Um, and like toning up because like I said, I'm 147. I surpassed both of my weight gun, my weight gain goals. Um, for me to just fill out a little bit more, I probably would like to gain about five to 10 more pounds, but I do want to stay in the gym and continue to weight train and kind of get everything, you know, looking nice and looking good. Um, this one is super cute. I do have to pluck a little bit on the part, but other than that, I think I really, really like this wig. Um, I don't think I want to do any like lashes or anything right now. So I'm just gonna do eyebrows and foundation. I may put on lashes, but I don't think I'm gonna do anything else just so I can get a few pictures in this wig. But like I said, the link and everything will be down in the description box below. And yeah, thank you guys for asking me questions. I hope I answered all of them somewhat good it's hard for me to multitask and like do my hair and makeup while like talking to y'all and like answering questions but if you have any other questions you can leave them down below don't forget to like this video comment and subscribe and until my next video i will see you lovelies then bye so, guys this is the finished look i wanted to come back with a black shirt on so you can kind of see super cute the curls are so bouncy the hair is super soft also. So yeah, don't forget to like this video, comment and subscribe. And until my next video, I will see you lovely soon. Bye guys.